Welcome to the presentation of the proposed development of the new emergency department to Queen Alexandra Hospital. We start our journey on Lister Road to the south of the site and move west to east towards the junction with Hunter Road. Staff parking on level A provides 216 parking spaces with additional cycle and motorcycle spaces and facility to charge electric vehicles. The ambulance deck, accessible from Hunter Road, is designed to park 16 ambulances below a canopy. As we move along Hunter Road, we can see the topography change as the road slopes upwards towards Curry Road. The adult and children's urgent care walk-in entrances are located to the north of the site on Curry Road. All patient accessible accommodation is located on level B. The adult majors and resource departments are directly accessed from the ambulance deck. The paediatric emergency and urgent care department are linked to both the ambulance entrance and the patient walk-in entrance. Adult urgent care serves walking patients entering from Curry Road. The imaging department is centrally located in order to provide easy access from all departments and all are linked back to the existing hospital building by a new link bridge. A vehicle drop-off lane is sited directly in front of the children's and adult urgent care walking entrances. Visitors may also arrive on foot, on public transport, from parking further north on Hunter Road or from the multi-storey car park. Upon entry to the adult urgent care department, visitors are required to enter information into 111 screens before proceeding into the department. A community use change in space is also located at the adult urgent care entrance. Visitors are greeted with a reception desk as they pass into the waiting area. Areas of specific patient interest and awareness, such as the reception, are highlighted in a feature wayfinding colour specific to the department. The waiting area is overseen by the two triage rooms and benefits from access to lots of natural light. As we move through to the clinical zone, we have a centralised staff base which oversees five treatment assessment rooms, a specialist room, a recliner chair assessment bay and a plaster and procedures room. There is a continuation of the wayfinding colour and this is picked up on in the bay numbers to the fully glazed sliding doors. We are reminded of the Level B departments as we drop down into the walk-in entrance to the children's department. Modular soft seating creates an enclosed play area in the waiting room, overseen by two triage rooms. As a nod to the coastal location of the hospital, seaside imagery, for example the South Sea Lighthouse, is used on the walls and flooring to create a playful and comforting environment for the patients. The nautical theme is continued into the clinical zone. A centralised staff base and observed play area are modelled on the Waverley steamship. Graphics to floors, walls and glazed doors provide a child-friendly department consisting of nine treatment assessment bays, six trolley bays, a sensory room and a mental health room. The resuscitation area is directly accessible from the ambulance entrance and comprises of two resus rooms and a procedures room. Like in adult urgent care, a wayfinding colour, in this case yellow, is used to unify the department and aid in patient wayfinding. Adult and children's walk-in departments use the wayfinding colours of orange and yellow respectively. These bright colours promote activity, warmth and energy. Children's department and adults department are both directly accessible from the ambulance deck which has 16 ambulance spaces. As we move through the adult ambulance entrance we follow the route of a patient heading to resus. Upon entry patients can be pre-assessed in an ambulance handover area and a triage room before proceeding straight ahead and left into the majors department or turning right past the ambulance reception into the resus department. 
Eight resuscitation bays in circle support spaces with a staff base at either end, offering maximum observation throughout the department. The blue wayfinding colour to flooring borders and behind staff bases aids in creating a calm environment and a sense of stability. The resus department has a direct relationship with the imaging department and is a short journey to CT. This journey passes the butterfly suite. En route into one of the two CT scanner rooms, we can again see where the coastal imagery has been used as points of interest in patient weight areas. An illuminated sky ceiling above the scanner machine can help to comfort and relax the patient. The green wayfinding colour in the imaging department calms and it is said that green can signify healing and hope. One of the three access points into the Majors Department is directly across the corridor from the Imaging Department. Multiple entrances and a mirrored floor plan allow this department to be split in a pandemic situation or similar. There are four staff bases, each overseeing up to eight patient bays. A total of 34 treatment assessment bays and additional mental health rooms are located mostly around the perimeter of the department to benefit from access to natural light. The four recliner chair bays, located behind each of the four staff bases, has access to natural light from a skylight above. The Level C accommodation consists of staff welfare such as change, seminar and rest, administration facilities, an engineering plant room and a link back to the main hospital building. Accessed from the staff restroom, staff have use of a large terrace area for rest and relaxation. There are nine staff offices on this level, ranging in size from a two-person office up to a ten-person office. The new link bridge connects the new building with the existing hospital building on levels B to D. The new emergency department has been designed to visually identify with the main hospital family of existing buildings, colours, materials and landscaping. However, the canopies give the new emergency department its own clear identity.